I want to move uh, qu- uh, quickly to the ne- next thing is, according to you, you know, all of us spoke about uh, English teams, uh, but is English Premier League one of the best uh, leagues in the world at the moment? Or do you think the Spanish or the German leagues are much better? Okay, I'll ask the best and the most competitive uh, uh, league in the world right now. And, and I think uh, the, the biggest example would be last year's Champions League finals where the where two English teams were in the finals. So, I mean, not only that, but you look at the leagues around and, you know, there's a clear winner. Like, you know, at, at most, there are two teams that are fighting for the title, but Premier League is wide open. Now, obviously, in the last couple of years, Liverpool and City have been dominant. But the way Leicester City won a few years back, no one expected to win. So, Premier League is the best to watch. It's very entertaining. And even, like, Teams like Sheffield United this year, like obviously we never followed, at least I never followed Sheffield United or the Championship, but then they have really impressed this year. So I definitely think it's the English Premier League. So I think everyone's in agreement that English Premier League currently is the topmost Premier League. <laughs> All right, I, I I think something that's really interesting that's happening right now is I was watching the German league yesterday and uh, watching the Bundesliga restart. Um, Obviously, in, in England, there's conversation, in Spain, there's conversation, in France, there's conversation. But before these guys start, what do you think? Let's say if there isn't a, a, a situation where they, there is no more matches to be played for this season, you know, uh, it's going to take, say, maybe till August uh, for all the bans to be lifted. What is your solution to end the season? Should it end with the points that are currently on the table? Or is there another solution to this? Or, you know, people have spoken about reverting to last year's results, which I think is not good or uh, right. What's your, what's your guys' take on it? The league should be null and void if we can't complete it in time. Uh, even though I agree to what Ashley said, and uh, again, these are just uh, assumptions and these are our our uh, calculations mathematically it's still possible for liverpool to lose the league okay and when it comes to winning the premier league or any league it's clearly mentioned in the premier league rules that you have to finish on top after 38 games while it will hurt a lot of liverpool fans out there and i know marvin is itching to you know <laughs> come back at me but uh, I feel, uh, uh, keeping all emotions aside, I, I also agree that Liverpool deserve to win the league this year if they won it. But mathematically, they haven't won the league. So, uh, if we are unable to finish the season uh, within the time frame, uh, that is, I think, end of July because August the new season starts, then uh, I think the season should be null and void. That's what I feel. Okay. So, yeah. other than this, yeah, declaring it null and void, I think whatever possible method you decide, you if, if you want to calculate how the season finishes, Liverpool win, will win it. Uh, coming to what Vijay said that we haven't won it uh, mathematically. Yeah, that's right. We haven't won it mathematically. We could still lose the 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 next uh, whatever I think eight eight games. But even if we were to lose the next eight games, that also requires City to win each of them. Which, looking at the way they have played these this year, I really doubt that. And also, to, to bring it out that one of the games that City would have to play is against Liverpool. And I think Liverpool, and, and City, Liverpool have played, I think, all the top five, four or five teams. City haven't. So, again, mathematically, is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? I don't think so. Uh, one more thing is, in the past, uh, last season and this season, Liverpool have lost only two games. One was against City and one was against Watford. So, really asking them to lose nine out of nine is very unlikely. How do you decide about next no, year's you, that's, that's the thing. You calculated on a weighted yeah. points per average. Look, it, it's like, you know, yeah. 
it's the same way that you're going to have to is not to I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just don't think you can void a whole season. If it was like three, four games into the season, it's fine. But like, you've started a competition that you've not completely finished off. The other option is like, you put the entire thing on pause. And whenever it's safe to play football again, you resume it from then. Uh, I think it, it makes more sense to finish season. this season and maybe delay the start of next, maybe even... Um, you know, not have the FA Cup or the EFL or whatever, but rather finish what you've started than bother about starting next season. So, uh, but but then again, actually, when you're talking about uh, weighted average, okay, uh, let let's take what Marvin said that Liverpool have lost only two games in the last two years. They still win title. So my point being, it doesn't matter how many matches you're winning or how many you're losing, or how many you think you will win or how many you think you will lose. You know, I can keep the emotional part aside. I, I can, I would have probably said the same thing if Chelsea were in this position. Thematically, they've only lost two games. You know, whatever. City still won. They must have lost more than two games last year. I don't remember the number, but they still won the league. So you know, anything can happen. It's football. Anything can happen. You never know. So, for me, yeah, I mean, null and void is probably too harsh, but Liverpool should just not be awarded the title. That is what I feel. All right, Anush, what do you have to say? No, I have to agree with Ashley on this one. Because, uh, I mean, although it would hurt to see Liverpool win the league, because you had a fan, but I think it's just fair to conclude the league and just give them the trophy. Yeah. Or no parade, nothing. That's good. <laughs> but uh, see, this will, if you don't do this, it will, it's going to affect the other leagues, championship and the league below that. And you know, you have teams waiting to get promoted, and they have like this financially, it's going to affect them as well. The smaller clubs, the teams which are getting uh, the teams which have been relegated have to go down, the teams which are getting promoted have to come up. You have to keep maintain that cycle, otherwise, it's just going to affect the whole, it's just going to affect the whole system. All right, and Alin, uh, uh, any new theory on it, or you agree with uh, something they've said already? It makes, I mean, it doesn't make sense to just void an entire season when you have completed 28 games and there are just 10 left. Uh, it's not fair to the teams that have, uh, you know, struggled and played so hard and so well this year. Uh, ideally, we should find a date where we where we can continue playing. But again, that uh, that that uh, again throws a lot of difficulty on the other leagues and the Champions League because every other league and every other tournament has to wait until each and every league is completed in Europe. But yeah, I think uh, the best thing to do is uh, just play play out the remaining ten matches as and when possible. Now the last two spots are up to the game. I, I actually don't remember the table, but I know Norwich is last. Yeah, that's a that's a hundred percent given. Yeah, the other two spots are, are are debatable. Now, the way I would look at it is, let's say for every league, you don't relegate anyone because everyone's complaining about it and it's not fair, and we still have a chance or whatever. I'm saying, don't not relegate people, but at least promote teams and declare winners. Because that way, at least you give like teams closure. And I think, you know, the biggest losers in all of this is like, if you look at the entire season and you see Chelsea versus uh, Man United, it's like every time like Chelsea lose, it would be a great opportunity for Man United to like usurp them and go up the table. But every time like Chelsea lose, United lose, you know? And like United have gone and beaten Chelsea, but still like, you know, that gap is there. So I think if they were to conclude the table now, I think some of the biggest losers given Manchester United's form under Bruno Fernandes will be them because they are currently sitting in in fifth and I think Chelsea have fourth spot, yeah? So, look, I think everyone would accept the result the way it is. The biggest, the biggest people who would be complaining are people at the bottom. So, don't relegate them. Don't relegate them and instead of having a 20 league season, have a have a 22 or 23 season next uh, for the next Premier League. Because look, whoever wins the league is going to have an asterisk against So, uh, Ashley, just, just one quick question. What if United were in 7th position and they were very close to being in the 5th position and the league is ended now, okay? And Champions League is decided on current league positions. Wouldn't you be upset? 
no, no, wouldn't I'm, you be like no 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 I, i'm not i won't be upset see look i i'm not upset by the current structure but what i'm trying to tell you is that like forget okay i'm not talking about champions league right now. i'm just talking about the normal league yeah the normal league if you with with the exception of the bottom half i think the top half of the table everyone can agree on it i think the only clubs that are that are fighting this like really badly are clubs like brighton because after they decided to do this um, weighted points for average or project restart or whatever you had like brighton opposing it then they didn't want to play it then they didn't want neutral grounds after that like then they said players have started falling sick so they're doing everything to avoid relegation which is where they are headed so if the premier look someone's going to complain right some you can't make or you can't yeah. make all 20 clubs happy true and you can't keep, there is you're never going to get a no matter what everyone does you'll never have a, a situation where all the clubs are happy so you need to take a decision based on a vote and if you don't relegate anyone which even though norwich deserve to be relegated then you need to promote teams that have been fighting like if you like okay bro like i'm a bit passionate about this because i like leeds fucked it up last year when they, they were about to be promoted and they collapsed and this season they are, they're literally at the top of the table they're literally at the top and like you know like when i heard the league go shutting down i was like fuck this like you you cannot make this up Like a guy back to, Get. and now half the world is fucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, the whole generation of Liverpool fans, man, who've not seen that happen. Yeah, I know. All right, okay. I think so they, don't yeah. they don't relegate anyone this season. They bring on two more teams. Hmm. So we have like twenty-two teams, and then next season you relegate uh, four teams. No, sorry, three plus two, five. Yeah. it will be insane see the the other thing is also you know in the championship uh the team that comes see you get money to come to the premier league right so first place second place the team that's in third place you know that you know that game that they have that's a 100 yeah, million yeah. Yeah. it's a 100 million game so like you know it's a lot of money for teams to lose exactly. out on so why they are better but again like there's no way to keep everyone happy because you know like i'll give you an, another example you have a complication of um, of signing players so for example i think chelsea have already signed zaich from uh, from ajax ajax yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. you know does he become a- applicable to play all of a season uh, all of a sudden you know technically he shouldn't be and then what do you do about players who are on loan you know so for example at arsenal danny sabayos is uh, is over there you know his loan his loan period is done does he get to stay on or does he have to move you know these are things uh, that they... actually regarding that i think there is an agreement that uh, uh, there is an agreement that uh, contracts will stand till till the last uh, uh, game i i think i think there is there is a agreement the contracts are based on the season no No, but just because of this uh, situation that they've agreed to, because the same thing was with uh, Adam Lallana with Liverpool. So his contract expires, I think, on first of June. But uh, it's it, they they've agreed to to have it extended till the last till the season is deemed uh, over. To the last uh, segment of this podcast, it's called "Would You Rather." So the first one goes. Uh, Would you rather sign for Barcelona and never play in the first team, or spend your whole career in a championship but be a star? If I if I decide to be a footballer, I would want to keep playing. So I will definitely want to be a star wherever I am. It will be championship. It can be division two, division three, wherever. I want to keep playing. I want to. If doing what I love, that is playing football. If I'm playing, and, yeah, I don't want to be on the bench. Be it Real Madrid, Barcelona, or Manchester United or Chelsea. I just want to keep playing. So I would definitely be in the championship and be a star. Yeah, I think it's better to be a big fish in a small pond than to be a small fish in a big pond. All right, cool. I'm going to go to the next question. Uh, this is for Marvin and Anush. Uh, which would you rather give up? Supporting your favorite football team or a relationship? Relationship. 
Can you answer it? <laughs> let, let, let me ask the two married men, Ashley and Vijay, what would you do? Uh, I, yeah, I, I give up the football team. <laughs> are, you, are you saying that because you're at home right now? <laughs> Hey, bro, bro, don't be in trouble, man. <laughs> Tell him something, bro. <laughs> he, he knows well enough, man. Once once you decide to marry, your wife has no choice. You support the football team and she has to be there with you. So. All right. Yeah. Give it the girlfriend and give up the girlfriend. Okay, so you'd keep the wife but give up the girlfriend. Is this for I me? was I was talking about the two of them. Okay. <laughs> what is that for yeah. Would you rather lose the league and your rival loses the Champions League, or you win the league and your rivals win the Champions League? I think I'll go for option number two. Winning something is better than losing everything. And you would have Even Tottenham like... win the Champions League before Arsenal. I think then I'll have to take option number one. Yeah. My option my is if it, my, my perspective has changed <laughs> at the moment. My, my, mine's the same thing. If it's with Tottenham, I would rather lose or even maybe be relegated, but rather them winning the Champions League before us. I'll move to the next one. Okay. Would, would you would you rather look like Fellaini and play like Ronaldo? Or would you look like Ronaldo and play like Fellaini? I want to be known for my game, bro. So I rather play like Ronaldo. Okay. And 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 if if you have seen how Ronaldo used to look before he was famous, <laughs> you'll know what Madhi can do. <laughs> uh, what Vijay said, but that's actually a really smart answer. I think you definitely want to be known for your game. When you have money, then you can do anything. I mean, Vijay made money. Look at what he looks like now, bro. Before, if you had seen him and I knew him in college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Full day is playing Counter Strike and <laughs> Anyone, anyone with a different answer? Marvin, Anush. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll I'll move to the next one. Okay, and this may be interesting. So. Would you rather let Wayne Rooney date your grandmother and take her out on a date? Or would you give your girlfriend or wife's number to John Terry? <laughs> let, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't see the point of this question. Okay. <laughs> but if I have to choose one... <laughs> I would tell. I would. Anyway, my grandmother would have been at home, and my grandfather would have bored her. So I would rather let Wayne Rooney really take her out for it. The problem is not uh, your girlfriend finding John Terry's number. It's the problem is John Terry finding your girlfriend's or wife's number. <laughs> would you rather slip and fall like Gerard in front of millions and cost your team, uh, you know, the league? Or uh, wear a diaper for the rest of your life and roam around. <laughs> that day still haunts me, man. That day still haunts me. <laughs> so, so, so you'll definitely roam around with a diaper. Yeah. Suck more. <laughs>